Hi, I'm Joan Cartan Hansen, and welcome to Science Trek, and welcome to Zoo Boise. We're here today with Liz Littman to answer your questions about endangered species. Hi, my name is Billen. What does endangered mean? An animal or species is considered endangered if it is in danger of becoming extinct in its habitat. So if there are not enough numbers within its normal range, uh, scientists would declare it an endangered species. Hi, my name is Hudson, and, and my question is what makes an animal endangered? Animals or plants are considered in danger if they are at risk um, for becoming extinct in their natural habitat or a significant portion of their range. Hi, my name is River, and my question is who manages the endangered species list? The endangered species list is managed by the federal government, which oversees the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services and the National Marine Fisheries Services. But there's also something called the IUCN Red List, which has um, population numbers and endangered um, status on all animals. And you can go online and see that IUCN Red List. Hello, my name is Alfie. I live in Hampshire. My question is how many different species of endangered tiger are there? There are six subspecies of tiger, including Sumatran, Amur, Bengal, Indochinese, South China, and Malayan. And unfortunately, all six are considered endangered. Hi, my name is Michaela, and my question is, are salmon endangered all over the world, or just in the Northwest? There are also endangered species of salmon that are found in Japan and Russia. Hi, my name is Ava, and my question is, how low does the population of an animal have to be to be put on the endangered species list? It all depends on the specific species or animal that scientists are studying. Scientists can study an animal for years and years to look at habitat loss and to see if their numbers are increasing or decreasing. And depending on the number of animals and individuals, it can mean a really large number to be considered endangered or a much smaller number. Hi, my name is Esmeralda, and my question is, what does the Endangered Species Act do? The purpose of the Endangered Species Act is to protect threatened species and the ecosystems upon which they thrive. So the ultimate goal is to have their numbers increase and have habitat protected so that species don't need the ESA at all. Hi, my name is Shuku. What can you do to help endangered species? You can do lots to help protect endangered species. First, you want to protect our natural resources like water and use them wisely. Educate yourself and learn about why different species are going extinct, and you can help volunteer to save them or educate others. And most of all, you can come to the zoo. Yeah. Just by coming to the zoo, you're giving some money to help protect species in the wild, and you're having a lot of fun and learning a lot while you're here. I'm sorry we've run out of time, Liz. Thank you for answering students' questions. Thanks for stopping by. Now, if you want to learn more about endangered species, check out the endangered species area on the Science Trek website. You'll find it at idahoptv.org slash science trek. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Science Trek. What is the do? Wait, oh my god, I, <laughs> I messed up. Okay, ah, uh, how, what is the, um, <laughs> one, one last time. <laughs>